Good. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Is the music balanced? Is it too loud? You let me know. I kind of want the music loud because I want you guys to just be jamming. All right, so this is a stream that's meant to just promote the mod that Rejected Shotgun, Spartan 0398, Forerunner. Let me get everyone's name in here real quick. All right, let's see. So yeah, it's Forerunner, myself, Rejected Shotgun, Royal Zealot 24, Spartan 0398, Vigilant Phantom, Zaith, and Connor Don are working on, right? This is a stream that's designed to promote this. Oh, is it Echoes? This is a lot of Echoes. Hold on a second. Let's see. Is it working now? Is it better? Speaking out of a mech robot. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me stop the music real quick. Let's see. Does this sound better to you guys at all? Just got to let me know. Just want to make sure this sounds good. Are we better? Does this sound better? Let me know, and then I can begin. Yeah, so uh, we've done a we've done a bit of work. Is it better? Does it does it? The mic sounds good. Okay, cool. Let me see if uh, what I can do is I can actually add some music in here. How it going, Forge? It's going good. All right, so let me let me see if I could add some music in here. You let me know if you can hear me. All right. Let's see. Is everything good still? I don't know if the music screws it up, but all right. So um, once I get confirmation, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing here. This is in a promotion right for the mod that rejected shotgun and i and some very talented forgers like spartan 0398 forerunner royal zealot uh vigilant phantom zaith and connor dawn are working on it's it's going to be very 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 cool uh so what i wanted to do in here is i wanted to come on this island you're not going to see anything specific regarding the mod except some of the tools that um have already been showcased in some videos and pictures I've put out there, and I wanna create an environment tonight that, that feels like Halo Infinite, that might be like Halo Infinite uh, in Halo Reach. So the cool thing about the mod that we're working on is the fact that all of these tools will be available to people on PC. Uh, the modding community that are interested in using these tools, it will be available for you guys. Uh, so it's, it's very, very exciting. Um, Talked about a week ago. What's up? What's up about? What's up, Tyler? How are you, man? So, uh, first things first. Let's let's jump into some of these spires. I want to show you a few things. So we have a spire one, right? These are fairly large. I mean, when I say large, they are massive. Then we have a spire four. These are four spires put together. Then we have four shifted. Right? I'll show you how we could utilize those in a second. As well as eight in a row. As well as eight shifted. Then we have 16 in a row. And we did this specifically because of just performance, right? Optimizing the map as much as we can, utilizing the pieces um, in a way that is gonna really be a little bit easier on the engine for Halo Reach. And then this is 16 shifted. And then it's the same thing, but these are shorter, right? So you got four, four shifted, eight, eight shifted, 16, 16 shifted, but medium, right? So we have these options here. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna jump into these options. 
and I want to show you essentially how you could create a really unique looking environment out of some of these tools that will be available to the community soon enough. So let's say we go to like a four here. We shift this around a little bit. We put it within the rocks right here. So it looks like pillars kind of got shifted out of the ground. Maybe we could take one like this. Move it up just a little bit. Take another four. Let's go up here to see how they kind of connect. I should be using rotation snap on this, but it's okay. And as you can see for the mod, what we did was you saw this in the in the screenshots as well that I've shared. So you're not seeing anything new today. You're just seeing me use some of these tools. But um, you guys are doing amazing work for these mods. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. It's, it's very exciting. But we shifted the sun over to the left quite a bit. Um, and this right here, we actually rejected Shotgun did this actually. He, he broke up the ring like in Halo Infinite. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. All right. So... Let's say we have something like that. Could shift some of these. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be it'll be something. Yeah, it's definitely not perfect, but it's okay. Now, the main thing is usually the pillars are not like this, you know? The pillars are connected to rock to make it look as if a part of the ring really got torn apart, you know? But, um, let's say, for instance, over here we take an 8 shifted, or not 8 shifted, just like an 8 flat. We'll go to the medium. And what we'll do, we'll kind of place them like this a little bit. Now let's see, maybe we can, hmm, hold on, do a larger one. Maybe it could stick out from the top here. Maybe I gotta do a four. So something along the lines of this. Just to make it look as if the actual rock got dismantled. Right? Something along these lines. It's not perfect. It's not how it is exactly in the mod, but you guys get the idea. Alright, let's see. So if we have something over here. Let me read some of these comments real quick. Yeah, you were about it. Uh, let's see. By the way, good job on the map. Yeah, Shotgun did that, so it was, it's super exciting. Um, all right, so I actually don't like this. But look at this. For instance, if you take a four, you come down here. We made short ones so that you could actually mold them into the ground and for instance like oh I just died but hold on let's see let's go back it's gorgeous so down here right what you could do you could edit these up ever so slightly And have yourself some pillars that are sticking out of the ground. Just in the river area. It's a cool, cool little aesthetic. So 
So maybe you have some that are sticking up over here. It's shading strange on that. All right, but let's actually forge an entire environment here. Let's see this is sticking out of the ground a little bit. Maybe you got something there as well. Put this at 90 degrees. Usually they're not just sitting in the middle of the terrain like this, but first sightline blocker for the aesthetic map that I'm going to be building, I think it'll work just fine. First of all, that's not how that works. They're supposed to be all meshed up like hexagon to hexagon, but for right now, this shall work. Let's, let's do a... This actually would be probably a better rock to do it on. I'm just going to kind of mesh these together. <laughs> They're usually side by side, you know, like one edge to the next when it comes to the hexagons. But for this, I'm just, just going to kind of put them together. It's kind of hard sometimes to line these things up, but... Now what we can do here is we can create an overhang, which would be kind of sick. So for instance, if we have four here, we're going to create an over overhang in a second over there. But let's go to foliage. We could put a small tree. These are actually ripped from Forge World. Once again, shout out to Projected Shotgun. We could put a medium up here as well. Looks as if there are some trees or something up there. Put some trees around here. We're just gonna use this area up in here to kind of just create a scene. All right, so just like in the gameplay trailer, I think there was a, hmm, what can we actually use for that? Let's say we just put a vehicle MCC, where is it? Nope, gadget scenery. Yeah, we'll go to vehicles here. Take the Pelican, flip that around. We'll make that phased. By the way, guys, if you're in here, if you're enjoying this so far, leave a like. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can... Now it's like phased halfway into the rock. I'm trying to find a position for this thing. What about like right here? Crashed right into the rock or something. <laughs> Let's go to foliage, we'll go to trees. We'll arch this one a little bit. Just make it look like it got crashed into. There. We could put a large one over here. Alright, let's see. 
Blitz, how has performance been with this kind of stuff on Forge World? So it's actually interesting, uh, Foge, if you just joined in, we've done a few things that I'll just explain real quick. Um, if you look at this, there are Spire 1, Spire 4, Spire 8, Spire 16, 1. So what we're doing is instead of having one piece per, um, like one Spire, right, that you have to just place over and over and over again, that would kill performance. So it's basically just making more objects into one piece, and, and that's helped a lot with performance. On the map that I have made in Reach, there's actually no issues with it just yet. We're gonna be playtesting it quite a bit pretty soon, but um, with stuff like this, I have a little bit of input lag because I'm playing on controller on PC, but overall, I mean, it's, it's really smooth. There hasn't been any issues. There's no flickering on the map either, so uh, that's really nice, but Let's see real quick. Any banished stuff? Yeah, I'll show you. There's a banished... Actually, if you guys want to see something, I, I haven't shown that just yet. This is an untextured phantom, but... Um, we have a phantom in here. Once again, provided by Rejected Shotgun. Uh, we actually have a few other things that I could show you. Vehicles, there's a banished ghost. I'll get to that in a second. But... um. Yeah, the, the, the overall performance has not really been... Oh, wait. Oh, we made short ones so you can do this. Oh, never mind. They kill me. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It's part of reach. <laughs> so, it happens. Let's see. Um, what about weapons? I've shown you... I'm not showing you guys anything I haven't shown you already in the screenshots. But, um... Like this right here is the VK. We got to work on that recoil a little bit, but that's in reach right now. And that's actually, I think Spartan0398 created this, uh, which is pretty cool. But uh, we have also the MA40 from, from Infinite. It's, it's different than this one. It's got to be updated, but you can see how it's a little different. It's a little darker. Um, yeah, I was curious if the Forge performance scales with PC specs, because Halo 5 Forge does not. I, I believe it does, man, to be honest. I just, it's, creating something like this is just so much fun, man. And you know what's interesting about it is that if any of you are actually curious about how the spires would work, or sorry, not the spires, the, um, the actual pillars in Infinite would work, keep in mind that there's, like, really fun gameplay elements that are going to be added to this game because of these pillars, like a lot. Um, all right, this is not going to be perfect, okay? Just because, well, I should do it perfect enough if I'm going to do it at all, but let's see. The way these things interact with the landscape is really fun and unique, you know? Like, you could use it in so many different ways. You could use it to get some height. Like, let's go to the four shifted real quick. If we move these around a little bit. You can create different shapes with them. You can, like, position them in, in, in really unique ways to get the jump on people. Like, if a grapple hook was in Halo Reach, it'd be fun to actually show you how these, how these things can operate. I think the grapple hook is such a smart move now, knowing what the pillars kind of operate like, but... Um, let's see, we'll do like another single. We'll go over here. Foge, by the way, man, if you got a PC, you should just mess with these tools, you know? Just have a good time, because it's honestly a great time. But I want to show you guys kind of what this could end up looking like. So... Let's say we have a four. I gotta line it up. I don't know if that's gonna line up well. We'll see in a second. 
it's a little tedious, but you know, it, it, I mean, it is what it is. It's incredible for what it is already, so I'm not complaining. All right, it's kind of, hold on a second. Hmm. Let's see. Hello, I found this in my recommended. This looks kind of cool. Well, what's up, man? I'm glad this got recommended to you. Just messing around with some modded forge tools. We actually have a mod coming out that's going to replicate Halo Infinite, at least from what we've seen and what the general audience knows. So what you'll see in a second here is kind of how these pillars could interact with the landscape and how a player could actually use them. But once again, these pillars are part of the landscape as in kind of like the grid work of the ring. So they're not just going to be sticking out randomly from, from my understanding. They're more just like, it's, it's kind of like this where let's just pretend this rock got lifted up from the ground. You know, it's, it's just parts of the ring that have been dismantled and shifted and torn apart. So having something just like this is not necessarily exactly what it'll be like. All right, these are not lined up perfectly, but you are going to get the idea. Let's get a four in here. It's gonna be kind of sloppy, so hopefully no from no one from 343 is watching this. But um, you guys will get the idea. So imagine that there is like a turret base or like a sniper base like up here that you can shoot from made from the pillars, right? Be kind of cool, right? Like I said, some Zed fighting, it's not gonna be perfect, but you guys are gonna get the idea. I'm like much more careful on the actual mod But you're beginning to see kind of what the pillars could be like in Infinite, you know? Um, how they're utilized. And it's not really the look that I'm trying to show you here. It's more just like the utilization of them. It's like you can essentially jump up here. Imagine there's, let's see, another Hexpire right here. Not a medium four, but like a medium... Nope, nope, nope. Something like this. Imagine one of these are just sticking through here, right? Just to be able to give you some cover. And then he had a few more that were kind of just above you. What's interesting about these these pillars is is just how different they are to any other Halo game that we've seen before. Hopefully I'll have something for you in a second here. All right, well basically you kind of get the idea. And then like, let's say if you had a, a turret up here, weapons, human mounted machine gun, right? And then all of a sudden, you had a warthog coming around this bend or something, right? You can get up here. Oh, it's sliding. <laughs> you know? Then you could use this area. Uh, when is the mod released? The mod will be released. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> about my, the comment about my voice, I appreciate it. Wait, hold on, what did you say? Give me a second. What did Foge say? Um, I ported one of my Unreal maps to Reach the other day. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. When it comes to textures and whatnot, 
if you look at these, these are not really textured that 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 well. It's, or they have the design similar to Infinite's because Infinite has these little uh, markings on the on the pillars. If you guys didn't know, but um, they're not like high fidelity, right? And they're not meant to be. They're just they're just meant to be on the map as something to kind of look at and and enjoy, right? Just to kind of give you the feeling of of Infinite, <laughs> you know. So let's go over to hex spires let's go to an 8 30 go by 30 over here and then what we'll do is actually you know what this is this is how i did it in the actual mod i would go 8 make this really tall and then i would go to the mediums over here and start lining these up. And essentially what I would do is, is make a, I would make an overhang because these are things that are actually in Halo Infinite concept art that have been released, but haven't been released in, in the sense of like, you know, they're, they're in some calendars, Sean W shared it and, and I saw it and that's where I got the ideas from. You saw a little bit of overhangs in the, the campaign demo, but um, I'd like to actually realize them in the, in the official, in the official mod, just to give people an idea. And by the way, when you, when I'm done with this and you guys see what this actually looks like at the end, what you'll notice is that, you know, everyone's curious about what vehicle may come back in infinite. I'm going to drive a Falcon through here, right? Through some of these pillars. And you tell me if it doesn't feel like the perfect vehicle to come back in this game. Because personally, I think so. But I'm very excited. <coughs> oh shit! I almost almost died there. I almost choked. <laughs> I'm very excited to uh, to actually get this out to the community with everyone. I'm so proud of everyone's work on the team. It's been really really fun, and in a way, we're creating like a bootleg Halo Infinite. So it's it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of funny. I hope three four three appreciates it. I hope they can. Um, appreciate something like this and just see the passion that we have for Halos because I'm excited to see what they do. I think they're going to crush it. All right, so... Oh, I just deleted the tree. All right, so over here, if we go to 8 shifted, right, what we can end up doing is get some, some diversity to this overhang. And then if we go to a four shifted, man, I wish I had flood AI. I'd make a flood Halo Infinite map. <laughs> Alrighty, so we put these down just a little bit, and then let's say we take maybe one or two. And maybe we connect it or something, you know? We'll see. Just try to make something interesting here. You can begin to see kind of how these pillars could work in the in the actual game. And, and a lot of people give them shit. But to be honest with you, I think they are a really cool addition. Um, I'll add some trees in a second. I'll add some rocks. And you begin to see actually how this all comes together. So, maybe we'll add one more here. And now what we can do is we can go over to foliage. We can go to small trees. Well, actually that wouldn't make sense if it was coming up because that's in a river. So I don't know if anything would be there. But let's put a small tree there. Let's put a medium, sink it into the ground a little bit, so it's just a little bit larger. And then we'll put a large, no, large is like way too big. Do another small. Maybe we could have a small here. Maybe another small right here. And then we can go back to the 
actual pieces that are part of Halo Reach's forge, like the official forge. Bring some rocks out like this. It's not exact, but kind of gives the perception that there was some landmass here. May want to shift these up just a little bit so that, uh, hold on a second, yeah, take it off for 30. Uh, Rip Forges, he died too soon. Yes. <laughs> I got to catch up on these comments, man. Sorry if I'm not reading them. I get caught up in this and yeah, you know how it is if you're forging at all or creative at all. <laughs> it's just how it be. It's okay to have a little bit of the rock overhang. I saw that in the demo. We were, we're essentially just trying to mimic a ring that has been ripped apart. I don't think it's necessarily fixing itself. I think the spires are just the internal mass of this ring. Hold on a second. Bring it up a little bit. All right, so now what you can begin to see is that when we're sitting down here and we're looking up, now what we have to do, like, it makes sense, right? If, let's say, and by the way, I'm probably totally wrong on this design here, but let's say, for instance, if this got uprooted from the ground, right? You can't just have ground underneath. So what you would need to do is you need to go in here, go to Project Zeta again, go to Spire, Let's say medium spire one, right? And then you basically down here need to just create a little metal pathway. Make it seem as if, I don't know. It just looks cool, man. It, it, it's it's meant to look as if it got ripped apart and dismantled and all crazy. Sometimes these don't line up perfectly, so for the stream, don't judge me too hard for that. But in the actual mod, you won't see any of that. I'm taking my time. <laughs> see, sometimes they'll line up perfectly. But what I'm doing here is I'm just, how many pieces is this? This was one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. If we do one more five, where are they? So, gotta line this one up here. Gonna line this one up right here. And then what we can do is we can go over to four shifted, come down here. Shift these around the opposite direction so there's some variety. And once again, oh well hold on, I can fix this. Yeah, these are not perfect. Hold on. Got to add one single one here. Oh, sh I'm selecting all the wrong ones. Come down here. Add one single one. And now when you add maybe some just rock faces. Take them off at 30. You can make it seem as if these really got ripped out of the ground, right? So add some rocks around. Use what you got to your advantage. We actually imported some rocks, so I will show you that in a second. Hey, thanks, Hunter. I appreciate it, man. Hunter was one of the first guys that actually inspired me to do YouTube, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So shout out to that guy. Um, 
gonna put some of these rocks all around here. Just to kind of make it feel as if they really got lifted out of the ground, you know, you wanna sell that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So now what you can begin to see is 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 a terrain that looks as if it's been ripped apart, <laughs> you know? Let me read a few comments here. Hold on. So what do we got? A banished one, add a, add, add a phantom. There's actually a phantom in here that's banished. Um, never forget is hitting different tonight. It is, it is. Well, I'm gonna go because I gotta wake up early. All good, man, don't worry about it. Do you think they will use these pillars everywhere? No, these, these pillars I think are gonna be used in a way similar to like rocks and trees, right? They're just additions to the environment. They aren't the environment. So kind of what I'm doing here is, is like an area that would be really destroyed of the ring. Um, but there's gonna be elements of the ring, I imagine that, like we saw in the screenshots, that are perfectly fine, that are within the center of the larger land masses that have been dismantled. Um, but let's see. Yeah, I don't think Foge is in here anymore. Um, all right, let's hop right back into it. So some of the rocks that I have, <clears throat> Stuff like this. So for instance, could add some rocks like this, just to show you guys what's possible with this mod. Probably use a smaller one for this over here. Little details like this help sell the map, so they're fun to add. But if you guys are new here, if you're just tuning in, uh, what I'm doing is I am forging an environment using all new tools provided by an incredible team of modders that I am collaborating with to bring the community Project Zeta, which is a BTB map, fully playable to anyone that is able to download the map uh, on PC. We're working right now on some syncing issues, but um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be all good pretty soon. Uh, that doesn't necessarily look natural, but I'm just trying to create a jump. <laughs> so let's see, maybe put some more rocks down here or something. How you guys liking the stream so far? Do you do you enjoy it? I don't know if it's So now we have the sun highlighted here. We have the ring over here. We have some trees that we can add up in here. Let's see if we put a small one. Hmm. Put a large tree maybe in the back over here. I will figure out in a second what to do with that. Alrighty, so now we have this. This is not just gonna be a wall though. What we have to do is we have to round this thing out. So, or square this thing off. So I'm gonna go back up to the height of what this is at. I'm gonna shift it a good bit. And I'm not lining it up perfectly. All right, you know what I gotta do? I gotta actually go for four. So it's not as long and intrusive to the map, but. And now what we'll do is we'll go to an eight. 
set that to 90. And then we'll drive a Warthog and shoot the VK in a second. This area is kind of becoming obsolete over here, but that's all right. Or actually, maybe what we could do is we could just add another overhang over here so this pathway doesn't get ruined. Let's put a medium eight. But what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to go to, let's say, 16. Let's shift this up a little bit. All right. Uh, I know you can load up uh, normal modded stuff on Xbox already. As far as added meshes and all that, uh, yeah, you can't. I think it's definitely something they will look into at some point, but a lot of security issues in that. I totally understand that. Um, the streams are interesting. I just always continually have to work uh, while you're stream. Oh wait, I totally read that wrong. Um, what's up, Royal? Royal is one of the guys that's working on this mod at the moment. Yeah, you know, I'd love I'd love people to to utilize this this mod a lot, <laughs> like a lot. I hope they do. All right, so let's shift that over here. Not gonna line everything up perfectly, but no, oh, oh. man, that would have been horrible. That would have not been fun. Don't do that, guys. Don't delete all objects. Do not delete all objects. All right. Gonna make a little overhang here. That connects. But then also possibly has an area that people could play in. I'll show you that in a second because there's this rock down here that could make for an interesting sniper position or something, we'll see. Uh, let's see, we have some more vehicles in mind. By the way, Royal, should I show them the Banished Ghost? Do you think that's cool to show? It was kinda teased in the, uh, in the last screenshots that we shared. I'm totally down to do it, it's super exciting. But it's just it's kind of up to you guys if you feel like that's ready to share or not. Do you want to? You gotta let me know, yes or no. If 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 not, it's totally fine. I don't need to. <laughs> Oh, okay, if it's already out, then yeah. All right, let's do it. I'll ride through here with the uh, the ghost in a second. Add a little bit of brokenness to this side so it's not just like a flat piece. Maybe add a four. There's so many interesting things that like, so what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm, I'm utilizing the crap out of these pillars right now. Let's just pretend this is a very broken part of the ring. Although you see the broken ring over there, let's just pretend this is another area of the ring that's broken up, right? In this map. So let's say for instance, you run up through here. Let's have a medium spire four connected to this piece here. And 
And then another. Alright, not going to be perfectly lined up. I'm trying to save time for you guys here, but... We're going to create a platform of pillars, which I think are going to be a thing in infinite. Imagine you just climb up on some pillars, you get the jump on some elites, maybe some banished, you know? Um, and then down here, what we could do is maybe we could put like a little gravity lift or something, you know? No, not a health station. Uh, cannon man, let's do a cannon man light. Or just like a simple gravity lift. For gameplay purposes, I don't think there would be a... <laughs> All right, so let's add some of the rocks down here, make it look real like the rest. Shout out to Royal. I think, Royal, weren't you the one that imported these rocks? I think you were. Here, we're gonna have to add some actual rocks. So now that we're kind of set, I could run through it with the ghost real quick, just so you kind of get an idea. But now, you're running through here, you're looking up, you're kind of seeing these pillars. Um, down here, there would probably have to be some type of destruction or something. Um, like, for instance, the pillars over here would be destroyed or shifted or or something because it's it's the ring dismantling. I mean, as far as I know, right? I, I don't even know if I'm necessarily close to this or not in design, but I'm just going off of what I've, what I've seen. Um, let's kind of line these up as close as we can. Push these in a little bit more. Uh, just so that there's kind of different Something, something like this. <laughs> but maybe we do like a four shifted here. And then we'll put another one right next to it. It's like a little sight line blocker in the middle. I think it's pretty easy to drive around still, so. Uh, no, I don't think that's gonna work, actually. Let's put a single, Let's see if a single works. Maybe move these in a little bit more. I, I'm, I'm forgetting to read these comments. Um, let's, uh, can you put this on your file share? No, I cannot. Um, let's see what's going on in the chat here. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Oh yeah, we have banished grab lifts too, but I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Um, someone said this reminds you of Red Dead Redemption 2. Begins to explain the universe. <laughs> Alrighty, so maybe these will work. Let's see if let's see if this will work or not. It's 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 sloppy. It's not it's not perfect, but it's just meant so that you could kind of run through it. You can kind of imagine how these pillars could potentially play out. Um, I could add some rocks on top of here, just make it look like the ground shifted up and out. Um, put some small rocks here. Just little things. A lot of attention to this one area, but that's just because I'm becoming a little obsessed with it. All right. You know, little by little, the thing will come along. However, you can begin to kind of see how this comes together. I, you would want to have more rock face throughout all of this just so it kind of balances it a little bit and it doesn't look like it's just a bunch of pillars everywhere. Uh, a way that you could do this is by just adding more rock face. But, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things you just have to, you have to balance. So let's say, Because you don't want it to all just be silver silver and metal and and whatnot. I'm sure there's going to be areas like that in the campaign, but... Yeah, you know, something along the lines of... of this. Is that... I think that's going to pop out of the other side here, but... Let's see if we could tilt this a little bit and get away with it. You get what I'm doing. <laughs> it's clipping through, but... Fix it like that. We should be good there. Um, that looks a little iffy, but... Once again, not the end of the world. Alright, who wants to see the ghost? You want to see the ghost? So now you can see, just like with a little bit more rock everywhere, could look better. Um, love this channel. Everything from the gameplay demo. Um, imagine a mod that turns the pillars to straight gold. <laughs> Dude, I don't know about that. Um, all right, so now that we kind of have, this is, this is not really complete, but we kind of have something. Let's put some, uh, let's put the banished ghost down. So I've been teasing that for a second. Vehicles, banished ghost. Let me put this in the light so you guys can actually see. Here it is. Modeled by Spartan 0398. It's looking great. It's looking really, really great. All right, let's drive it real quick, and I'll show you how it shoots. It's got the red flaming plasma underneath it. And this is how it shoots.
Ooh. Oh, by the way, these are a little scuffed. I gotta turn them on the opposite end, but you guys get the idea. So basically, um, when it comes to these, what I need to do is I need to just shift these on the opposite side in order to uh, make it walkable and drivable. It's, it's a little issue that we have, but we're fixing it. But yeah, that's the Banished Ghost. It's a lot of fun, actually, <laughs> to drive around. There's a Banished Phantom. Let's see. Is it OP? Um, it's pretty OP right now. Once again, we gotta work on it. We gotta balance it, but I can show you real quick. On a Warthog, mind you, it's hard to actually hit anything with this thing because it's a two shot. But I will tell you this, if you land two shots on this thing at the moment, it does significant damage. <laughs> it's basically a two shot. But um, that'll shift, that'll change. Let's see, do you have a grappling hook? We don't have a grappling hook, no. Yeah man, this thing is looking great. So, now when you're walking through here, you can begin to see how this kind of looks legitimate. Um, I'm actually gonna just block all this off just to bring in the entire environment real quick, just to not leave anything open-ended, but let's do 16-1. And hopefully you guys are having a good time watching this, you know? Hopefully it inspires you, hopefully it gets you excited for Infinite, you know? I love this game, I love 343 as a company. Uh, some people may disagree with me, but you know, it's a goal of mine to work there one day. I think that'd be so fun, dude. Just just in general, just to be able to, uh, I don't know, just explore the creative opportunities and just be in the space that I'm in now, but with something that is, uh, on a larger scale. It's just exciting to me. It's a, it's a cool idea. Um, let's put an area over here that maybe doesn't need to be completely... Hold on one second. I'll show you in a second. Oh, got to get rid of this, this odd tint. What's going on with this? All right, it is what it is. Some of these behind here. Put some of these right here. And I don't know, I'm just going to... Eight one. I wish there was more cliffs here, but let's just pretend this is a very broken area of the ring. Because I think there are going to be areas that are just absolutely dismantled and destroyed. And I think the way they're going to pull these pillars off is going to be really unique for gameplay. Like, essentially, think of think of the fact that it's like you need to get from one point of the map to the other. How do you do it? You got to look at the pillars and you got to see how they're positioned in order to be able to use the grapple hook to get from one area to the next. It's super exciting, super unique, and the replayability in that campaign is going to be massive. Because of because of elements like this. Like it's I've messed around with these pillars for so long. Like days and days. <laughs> like I've just been having a lot of fun. And I can tell you that I can see to an extent why these things were selected. Right? Why these? Why this idea was chosen to run with? Um, it just makes sense. It's a really fun gameplay mechanic, and it's a great addition to the environment. You know, it's it's something that uh, has never really been in Halo before, and I think it's going to change quite a bit in a very very good way. All right, 
Uh, those trees aren't really positioned all that well, but I'm trying to add a bit more, let's say, natural elements to these pillars just so that they, uh, it doesn't feel so cold, you know? See, you can begin to see it kind of come together. Put a large tree over here. Put a medium right here. Let's put um, another medium, just sink it down a little bit so it's, no, actually I can't do that. Um, put another medium right there. And then we'll mess around, maybe put some rocks around here. Now I want to do a small rock. Thing needs to go there. Hmm. I'm not going to fret too much about this rock here, but just for some reason, I feel like maybe what I could do is add a little something there. Let's see. Oh look, it's Duquesne. What's up, Duquesne? Hey man, how are you? All right, let's see. You gotta read this chat, because it's popping off. Um, simply better. Got a whole dream. Yeah, man, I, I don't know, dude. What, what's the point of just simply doing things, right? If you're gonna do something, might as well go for it, right? Everyone wants to work a 343, I get it. But um, can modders add this kind of stuff to Halo 5, please? Uh, we've talked about it. Um, we've talked about it. Hey, man. See you, dude. Yeah, dude. I would love to work on this more tomorrow. That would be sweet. Um, Halo Infinite Parkour. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know anything about modding either, but it's definitely been a lot of fun. Um, Infinite Forges, uh, this is an awesome mod you got. The entire Halo Infinite hype train on your back. <laughs> you deserve all the support. Hey man, you know what? I don't know. I just love the game, dude. And, and I'm getting attention from it. You guys are, you know, supporting me and it, it, it means a lot. Cause I want to, I, I honestly want to make some of the most kick-ass maps when when infinite drops, I have a very strong feeling that this 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 uh, new editor is going to be fairly impressive. Let's put a little something right there. You know what we'll do? We'll put the phantom right here, maybe right behind this pillar or something. So it's kind of like just just kind of peeking out. Put in the distance or something by these trees so you can kind of see it. So when you're looking from over here, this tree's kind of in the way, but if we put this up here, you can kind of see how this is coming together, right? Um, part of this land got dismantled, part of this land got dismantled. This could be a little arena map now that I'm actually building it. It's kind of fun. Uh, you've got a destroyed pelican over here. Um, I'm actually starting to think that the destroyed pelican would serve a better purpose over here. So... Or maybe... Just like this. Because that's kind of how it was in the demo, right? 
kind of just like <laughs> building all this stuff after the demo. Let's move this over here, kind of shift it a little bit. Yeah, but I, I, I do got to say it, it, it means a lot that I have support from you guys. I mean, my channel's growing, you know, fairly quickly for, for, for what it is, you know, and I appreciate that. We're at like what? 2,240 something people. And yeah, I mean, it just, it's cool, man. It's cool to be able to have a community, you know, been a Halo fan forever. So to be able to engage with you guys like this is super sweet. I just realized that these trees make absolutely no sense in this area, but that's okay for right now. <laughs> at least we can see this. Um, I need at least 16 more mongoose jumps. You know what, Duquesne, since you're here and you won't shut up about this, <laughs> what I'll do is I will put another mongoose jump right in the center here. And by the way, I love you for the, for the love for the, uh, the, the race maps. I, I have to make one, man. Your passion for it is incredible. But let's just put one right here for Duquesne. Um, We'll get a mongoose here, and we'll ramp it off real quick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vehicles, we'll go down to um, a mongoose, mongoose, however you want to call it. <laughs> we'll see if this even works. Well, yeah, kind of. So that kind of works. Maybe we'll do a few other ones. Like something over here, maybe it lands you in here. We'll have to see. Um, all right, so we'll keep the rock there. We have some foliage over here. Let's add a area right here. Some hex spires. Let's see. Hey, right now I'm doing a reach race forge contest. You know what? I might do it. Can we do a banished mongoose? Foge, is that a thing? Is this a leak? <laughs> Yo, uh, Royal, if you're in here, man, why don't we just make a uh, a mongoose red, a warthog red, and we'll put Craig's face on the front of it and just have a, a grand old time. I think that'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> but Foge, remember when we were talking about forgers and modders coming together? This is it. If you're on PC, man, it'd be cool to kind of show you this stuff and walk through it with you. Um, all right. So that's like that. I have to extend this up a little bit. Just going to create another overhang. Uh, is B-Jaws in here? What did he say? Didn't know Halo Infinite Forge was already released. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um, a Craig Goose? I'm down for that. AI and Forge would be great. It really would, honestly. And Duquesne, you know what? Yes, I'll do the I'll do the uh, the race contest. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, glow up of the century. Let's see, Dougals. <laughs> oh shoot! Let's see. Let's so add a few more of these over here. Getting some like input lag. It's weird. Whenever I play with the USB connected controller, it's fine. But with an actual controller like this, sometimes just wireless, PC freaks out. It's just weird. I right, once again, not how the actual pillars will look and whatnot, but it, it's more just from the ground floor looking up, having an area like this, you know, that you can kind of just walk through. It's cool. And then I would have to add a few pieces down here as well. Ooh, wow.
What's up to all 55 of you? How you guys doing? By the way, don't mean to plug this, but I do put a lot of time and energy into this. If you guys want to support me, I do have a Patreon. Check it out. It means a lot. But uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. It's just in the bio, so it's well appreciated if you choose to do so. Uh, alrighty, so what do you guys think of this so far? We're about an hour in, did a little bit of talking, showed you guys the Banished Ghost, which was pretty sick. Uh, we want to get a lot of different Banished vehicles, a lot of them. Uh, what's going on in the chat? Uh, yeah, thanks Duquesne, that'd be awesome, dude. Uh, keep up the great maps, man. Halo Infinite Forge is gonna be awesome for you. I'm beyond excited. Uh, I'm down to help out. Yeah, man, Foge, I mean, if you got it, let's just, let's just run it. I'm free tomorrow. Um, I don't know if you are, but let's just kind of mess around with it, you know? Um, I think that could be kind of cool. Let's see. What else we got? But for all of you that are new here, I'm working on a mod with Rejected Shotgun, Spartan 0398, Forerunner, Zaith, Connor Don, Vigilant Phantom, and Royal Zealot. Um, these are some incredible modders. These are people that are changing the game. And I am the forger on this project. And it's essentially a, a very alpha build of Halo Infinite. We have the weapons in here. We have the pillars in here. We have the vehicles. Got the banished ghost over there. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun. Let's see, what else do we have in here that I can kind of show you? Um, we actually have a banished barrier. I showed you this in the screenshot, so I can show you that. We have a banished shield. We have a banished antenna. Which is all really, really cool. Weapons, rocks. We have placeable water as well. Shh, shh. Um, and a few other things. <laughs> but yeah, so now you can, you can essentially get the idea. But let me show you something real quick, all right? Let me show you why I think the Falcon should be in Halo Infinite, all right? Let's do... I'm just going to place these so that we can kind of get an idea for sense of scale here, right? I'm not really placing these in any specific order. Um, but I, I mean, if I'm gonna do it right, I might as well do it right. If I'm gonna do it at all, I might as well do it right. Uh, let's see, something like this. Shift this. Connect that to this. What's going on? And let's say if we have Some pillars sticking out of the rock here. Let's make these not so perfect. Let's go to the medium one so we can actually move them down quite a bit. Now put a regular eight behind it. Put another eight behind this one. And let's put some trees up here just to make it kind of look like there was an environment. I don't think I'm going overboard with the trees here, but All right, so I'm going to fly a falcon through here, and I'm going to show you why I believe All right, this area is not necessarily ready, but All right, you guys will get the idea. So if I fly a falcon through here, you can get the idea as to why it just feels like a vehicle that should be in infinite.
We could have a Falcon race map. I mean, look at this. Maybe it's just like the, the camera angle. It makes everything feel so much bigger, but when you're driving through this, just the, the sense of scale is really impressive. See, see something over there, like, and then you come around here and you see the broken ring in the background. It's, it's really awesome, dude. Imagine having your squad in here, just driving around, having a good time. You could fly through here. Well, no, I put them too close, but you could fly through here. Tell me this doesn't look amazing. This doesn't look awesome. These are some of the things you can look forward to in the mod. Just have your squad with you, trying to capture the flag. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, dude. It really is. It's a lot of fun. And then if we take a Warthog through here, just save some Marines or whatever, right? You begin to get an idea of how the pillars look really cool. 343 got a lot of hate for the pillars, but I'm telling you, the way they executed it, these, these legitimate professionals, I mean, I have no doubt they've done it in a way that's really fun, really engaging. So imagine you're, uh, you're shooting at some people, you get a chance to come up here. Hold on, I didn't really position these correctly, did I? Let's say you can get up here, you can jump up here, run through here, and then you could take out the team by using a position up here that you could hide behind, shoot behind. You know, it's, it's, there's so many unique ways that the pillars can be used. Um, I'm in love with it. I'm glad. Let's see. Uh, speaking of racing, the invasion map I have been working on worked really well for a race map. Well, that's sick, dude. Now we need a Falcon in Infinite. I would be very surprised if the Falcon is not an in Infinite, to be honest with you. It really would. Um, let me, I could add a few more pillars and whatnot, but essentially this is, this is not complete, but it's, it's a start. You guys are getting an idea of kind of what an infinite environment could look like, a destroyed infinite environment could look like. Um, if I really want to go all out, to be honest with you, I've seen concept art that just is insane with the pillars. I don't know if it's still to that extent, but let's say for instance, you have a, um, uh, I'll really go all out with it real quick. Let's say you have something like this, right? And you have pieces, that tree's gonna disappear any second now. I'm gonna do this kind of sloppy, but once again, you guys get the idea. You have pieces that, oh shoot, what's happening here? What? I just obliterated that war hug. <laughs> So let's uh, let's put a four shifted instead. So it's a little bit, a little bit more variety here. You have some that in the campaign I'm sure would look like this. All right. So if you really want to go all out with these, let's say for instance you have. Some that are just offset, you know? I would not be surprised if we see stuff like this. Let's make a let's 
Let's make an area here. Oops. Yeah, none of this is perfectly done. Kind of just doing it real sloppy. I've said that like 40 times during this stream. Shift some of these in here. Just trying to give you an idea. I mean, the pillars are going to be insane and infinite in certain areas, I'm sure. But imagine something along the lines of like, of this, you know? There's, there's so many ways that these pillars can be used. And, and if you have a grapple hook, if you need to get up there, you know, you just hit the grapple hook and then boom. There you go. You're up there. You're good to go. <laughs> um, is it just me? Or modded guns have super violent recoil. Uh, this one, this one definitely does. Um, what else we got going on in here? I feel like the gun just fires everywhere. Uh, if there's a warthog run with these pillars, that could be really cool. It definitely could, but you know, stuff like this, you know, it could definitely be in in the game. Uh, Let's keep messing with this. If I put more of these over here, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep adding more and more and more just to give you guys an idea of just how broken and disrupted the ring could really be. You could have some spires that actually connect to the ground, right? And then you could have a few spires connected to that spire, um, maybe like three or four. I've gotten a lot of the inspiration for these spires from the campaign demo. Actually, when the the pilot is crashing his pelican, you can look around at the environment and, and see what the pillars look like in action. But um, yeah, you know, stuff like this, stuff like this for sure. I don't know if you guys are a fan of this or not, but I feel like in certain areas, we're definitely going to get stuff along these lines. It's very easy to go overboard with the pillars, I will tell you that. So I can imagine the designers that were on this game um, probably had a few instances as such, you know, but see, like, this is what I mean. Little things like this, where you could create mini pathways. It's just cool, man. You could use the pillars to, I mean, this looks a little too organized here, but whatever, you guys get the point. <laughs> you know, you could sneak around here, look up all through here. I hope there's a warthog run in infinite. I think that'd be sick. I mean, how does this look to you guys so far? Does it look good? Does it look bad? Does it look crappy? I'm kind of just messing around, but... It could be the beginning of some... 4v4 modded map or something. You never know. Let's see what people are saying here. Um, everyone loves the Vex stuff from Destiny, which is basically just cubes, so I don't see why people would dislike the hexagons that you're showing. Yeah, that's the thing. I agree. I, I think they're going to be implemented in really cool ways, and it's going to make for fun gameplay experiences with the grapple hook and I'm sure other armor abilities. and Not armor abilities, sorry. Um, just like attachments and whatnot that we can get different tools in the game. But uh, yeah, stuff like this. And then, of course, what you want to do down here is like we've done before. You want to make sure you have some, some pillars down here. Oh, wait. Did I put the wrong one here? Oh. Well, that might not work. Actually, that could work. All right, let's try something here. So if I take some of these shifted, I kind of line them up. Let's take a single spire. 
what I mean by like some cool different gameplay experiences is like you could just clamber these things. You can just have a good time getting to positions that you never thought you'd be able to get to. Um, I'm very excited to see how this is actually implemented in Infinite. It's going to be fun. All right. I don't know if this is going to work. I have to position these perfectly because jump height's not really that high. So let's say, for instance, jump on here, jump on here, jump on here, jump on here. You could clamber an infinite, but then you have a point that you could shoot from, right? Let's say there's a pillar in the middle just to give you a little bit of a sightline blocker. Run through here, shoot, 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 dip. See the ring in the background. But now you're beginning to see kind of how this can come together and how certain uh, vantage points can be added in with these pillars. It's really cool. Uh, hope to see some of your maps in the server browser. You definitely will when it comes to infinite. Uh, let me read some comments real quick. Let's see, let me move this over while I do this. Um, Let's see, I think people just like the hexes because of the bad lighting. Yeah, I think they're gonna look gorgeous with reflections and, and infinite. Um, let's see, I'm loving the new map picks of infinite. Uh, yeah, no, it looks great. All right, cool, let's see. Yeah, Halo Infinite, the game where you have a good time. I agree, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. But uh, what you guys think of the stream tonight? I made this quickly <laughs> i think i put a little bit more attention over here than i did over here but i actually don't like this at all this looks like crap but a lot of this right in here um i do like i mean if we had let's say a banished facility was just in this area, and let's say you had to infiltrate it, if I could add AI, you know? What I would do, is I would set up some barricades on the edges here. Go to banished real quick. Do another barrier. Potentially over here. And then we will do another one. Uh, these are a little scuffed, but it's okay. Something like that. Maybe one over here. <laughs> you know, I don't know. We're just we're just messing with it, but Maybe one could be over here. It's because that kind of, yeah, by the tree. So now, oh, shoot. It's very basic what I'm doing here. Actually, I could show you a little bit of the map at a later date, the actual map, the modded map. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much it. You know, I've been streaming for about an hour. Um, you added a mongoose jump, 10 out of 10 map. Foge, you can politely... Just, <laughs> just shut the fuck up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know, you could get a lot more creative with the actual cover, you know. Um, a few ways you could do that to appease Foge would be, for instance, since we have a lot of these um, pillars, right? You could just use more of these pillars and bring them down just a little bit. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Um, bring them down just a little bit. Um, by the way, guys, Foge is like actually, oh crap. He's incredibly good at what he does. So um, if you guys don't know who he is, I learn from him oftentimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That was lazy cover, but it's banished themes, so deal with it. Um, this could be some, this could be some stuff right here. 
Maybe move this tree a little bit so you can walk around it. And then we could add a little, let's see, like a flat, flat rock or something. Take it off the 15 degree. Then bada boom, it starts looking like it actually came out of the ground a little bit. You know, something like this. It's a little bit more creative when it comes to cover, but at the same time, use rocks, use trees. You know, I'm keeping everything very just natural here. But um, actually, hold on one second. Maybe, maybe what would work best here is if we had a vehicle that was, yeah, I think I saw one of these, right? In the trailer, yeah. Shade turret. <laughs> So yeah, here it is. Here it is. Uh, we should make a map just for Forge called Lazy Cover. And it's all just those pieces. Hey, <laughs> I'm down <laughs> if you want to do that. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Halo explodes. <laughs> all right, well, hey, listen, guys. I don't know if there's anything else you really want me to do here. I feel like I should save this map for the hell of it just because I put an hour into it. Um, I didn't really think of layout necessarily. It was kind of just like over here. There's got to be some rocks that lead up. This could be kind of cool in here. Imagine this could actually be a, a map. This connects. Maybe this is like the internal sentinel structure of, of Zeta Halo, you know, <laughs> that takes you out into this broken ring world, you know, it could be kind of cool. It could be really cool. Uh, let's see. I've already played those maps. And they're all race maps. Burn! Take that, Duquesne. What are you going to do? How, what's your rebuttal? What's your rebuttal? Okay, ouch. That's not good enough, dude. You got to hit him back with something stronger than that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it. I don't know what to necessarily... Here, you want me to ride around on the Banished Ghost a little bit more? I can do that. Foge, did you see the uh, did you see the banished ghost? I think you did. You were in here, right? Alright, you know what? Let's do this real quick. Let's add a bunch of fusion coils. And just make it fun. Not fusion coils, let's put the uh, the plasma batteries. Get a bunch of explosions going. It'd be kind of fun if you're riding around here and you just see people, see people just chilling. Shoot a fusion coil, blow them up. That could be fun. By the way, we're going to have... We should make these banished as well. I think that'd be kind of cool. It's just a red color. Boom! Yeah. I wonder what, oh, those bounce off, by the way. Look at this. I don't know if you noticed this or not. Whoop. Okay. It's way too close. So this is it, guys. This is my little Halo Infinite map. Questions, concerns, let me know in the comments. Uh, I have been destroyed. Indeed you have. Um, memes galore, what's up? We need elephants in reach. I think someone actually, I think Forerunner, a guy that we're working with, did put them in reach, so maybe we could put that in the map. I don't know how that would necessarily work, but uh, it could definitely be in the Forge palette. I think that could be fun. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's read some comments here. Uh, I kind of hope Infinite has a social space, kind of like Destiny, where we could rock around as our Spartan. Um, yeah, that could be pretty cool. 
get the sniper in here. This is it. Let me save this one real quick, and I'll actually show you what the official map looks like. At least the, a portion of it, just a part of it. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Like it, like it loads up. What, what are we going to call this? Um, I'll just call it stream build or something like that. So I remember where I built it from. Um, just do test or something. I don't know. All right, we're going to end this game. And then we're going to hop into the, um, the actual map, the actual Project Zeta map. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, the Banished Ghost sound is sick. I like the fact that it actually is like a shotgun when it fires. All right, so we'll go to Infinite 2 here. See what happens here. <laughs> you like how I called it Infinite 2? Infinite version 2? <laughs> Alright, so what you'll see here is, it's a work in progress, but uh, this is the official map. I'm not going to show you anything over there because there's just far too much. I mean, I could show you a little bit. But um, there's an entire map behind me that you're not going to see. There is a red cave over here. In here, you have the uh, the VK. When you step in here, this is going to be utilized as a, a banished area, which would be kind of cool. You have some of these over here. Uh, these right here, for some reason, need to be brought down. But what you can begin to see is is certain of, certain elements of the map are starting to come together. Um, it's really... There's a ghost over there. You can see all the rocks and whatnot. Um, this area over here is pretty cool. This was actually something I took from the gameplay demo. I saw that pillars were shaped like that. And yeah, you know, it's 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 coming along. It's looking really good. Um, I'm excited for it, honestly. Really, really excited. Could go in here real quick. I love this little cave. Come around the side here. You can see how it's beginning to look. Can't show you anything I haven't shown before, but... Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely coming along. It's looking good, and it's exciting. <laughs> uh, Mags, I appreciate it, dude. I'd like to see you build better. So, <laughs> um, it's also a work in progress, but I know you're trolling. Yeah, and the whole the whole point of the whole point of that map is to give a sense of scale that makes you feel small, right? So it's a uh, it's cool, it's fun. Let's see if there's a, a map in here I can um, I can show you. I don't think so. Nope, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. I appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm going to join a few people on MCC. If you want to join my game, you can download it. You're on PC. Um, sometimes it does this weird bug. Here, message me. Maybe I could help you. Um, I would love to use those objects, man. Uh, but I ain't even going to lie. Try to do what you're doing, man. Wait. But I ain't even going to try to do what you're doing, man. Yeah. Well, you know what, man? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. And I think it's going to make waves in the Halo community when it actually comes out. So super, super excited. Yeah, Max, I heard you're pretty lame, dude. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I got love for everybody. But Duquesne thinks so. <laughs> you and our pod, Duquesne's got something with. Um, 
Alrighty, well, hey, if any of you guys want to play with me on MCC, I'm going to hop on Xbox in a second here. Uh, my GT is Infinite Forges. If you guys want to hop at a party, let's go. Uh, I know it's a Monday night, or now it's Tuesday. But, uh... Hey, by the way, Duquesne23, thank you so much for being a supporter on Patreon, man. I appreciate it. If you guys want updates uh, on the Project Zeta, actually, if you want to see behind the scenes... Become a Patreon member. All the details will be on there. I'm going to start uploading a lot more content on there. Um, so definitely check that out. Become a Patreon member. It, it, it means a lot. It could be $3. It could be $15. It could be whatever you want to do. Whatever you could donate. It helps me continue what I do and prioritize what I do even more. So uh, that means a lot. It matters. And it's appreciated. So um, don't get to rub it in, man. Rub what in? Let's see. Uh, Max gets wrecked by my mongoose when we race. I gotta race you guys actually. If you're down to do something after this, let me know. I, I'm down for a little racing. I could do that. Um, but yeah, Duquesne, man, it's really appreciated. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna hop in as soon as the game. Wait, I'm gonna hop in as soon as the game I'm currently in ends. Okay, cool. Alrighty, guys. Uh, any final questions? Anything? And did you learn anything from this? Um, did, did you kind of see how the pillars could be implemented? Maybe get a little bit of insight and imagination into what infinite could be like? Let me know. Yeah, just let me know. But Okay, I think that's it for the night. I'm not seeing a lot of comments come through, but this was a good stream. This was a fun stream. And uh, hopefully you guys got something from it. But uh, last thing... Oh, I, Foge, is, uh, Foge is online. Who else is online? Um, <clears throat> I think Mags and Duquesne and whatnot. If you guys all want to jump into something, let's do it. You're working on videos, dude. Come on, man. Take a break real quick. Play with us, man. <laughs> nah, I get it, dude. I, I'm actually starting to do these... Um, I'm starting to do these videos on my channel, which is one of the last things I'll actually talk about here. I'm starting to um, put out these one minute clips of just forge tips, right? Forge tips in under 60 seconds. So let's say forge in 60 seconds, right? Um, it looks like you guys received that pretty well today. Didn't get the most amount of views, but it, I, I feel like it provided a lot of value. Um, if you guys are into that, I think that could be that could be something that I do in the, you know in the future for sure. Just let me know. As I test out different forms of content, different, you know, variations of video, uh, what you guys like. Okay, Foge. Foge is sending me literally like 30,000 invites, and I'm going to scream at this dude in a second. But, um, <laughs> but I will uh, talk to you guys really soon. And like I said, if you want to join our party, feel free. My GT is Infinite Forges. <laughs> Foge, I'm going to kick your ass, dude. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you so much for being here.